Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Up Comedy. I'm back with another Dokkan battle video. So with the global first STR Super Saiyan Blue Kauken Goku's banner only about a day and a half away from dropping on global, I thought it'd be kind of fun today to do a little speculation, a little bit of predicting uh, for what the banner will actually look like once it officially comes out. Now, just be clear, I have no idea what it's gonna look like, so I could be completely wrong in this video about all the units, except for the main one, of course. Um, but at the same time, I do feel like I have a pretty solid reason for the characters that I chose. And uh, one other thing I wanna mention is that I don't necessarily want the banner to end up being what I predict in this video because if it ends up being exactly what I think it's gonna be then it's gonna be significantly less hype for me to summon on it because a lot of the characters that I'm predicting uh, I already have rainbowed so it's not gonna be great value for me personally and probably for a lot of you guys who have been playing this game for a while but that being said I do think that the banner is gonna be themed around the tournament of power slash universe survival saga just because it is the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku from that arc in Dragon Ball Super, right? So that being said, I think the banner is going to feature seven SSRs in total, and uh, they're all going to be units from that arc in Dragon Ball Super. And the first unit, of course, has to be the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku because he is the new unit, he is the main unit, and uh, he is the first SSR. And next up on the banner, I think, will be the Triumphant Return the long-awaited return, the long-overdue return of Tech Hit on Global. If you guys don't remember, um, he first came out last Christmas on Global pretty much around this time. Actually, no, just a little bit later, so around December 20th or so, so not quite a year, but still like 350 days since he initially came out on Global. And the stupid thing is that JP got him way later than Global did, and he already came back on a banner after his initial banner, which just makes no sense to me. But anyways, I do think Tech Hit will be finally making a return to Global on the STR Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku's banner, and he is the second featured unit on this banner. And number three is of course STR Jiren, who we actually have not seen for a little while on Global, so I wouldn't mind this at all. I think the last time he came back was during the four year anniversary, right? The last time he was featured on a Dokkan Fest banner, so that's actually not too bad. And uh, that's number three, of course. Number four, we have UI Goku. It just makes sense to throw him in there. I know he is quite old at this point, but he's still the only Dokkan Fest UI Goku we have in the game. We are long overdue, honestly, for a UI Goku or an MUI Goku of any kind, so hopefully we get that soon sometime, maybe early next year, but I do think that the Int UI Goku will be on the banner as well. And then we have Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and MVP 17, and last but not least, Int Golden Frieza. So those are the seven units I think will be featured on this banner, and um, I mean, here's the thing, they're not bad. They're all really, really good units. Some of them are quite old, but they're all really good. They're all still, you know, optimal on a lot of teams. They're all still great leaders for various categories, and uh, they're just good units to have. So overall, I would say, you know, if the banner ends up being exactly what I said it's gonna be, it's still gonna be a good banner, because they're, they're all category leads, right? Like, they all lead different categories, and if you guys are newer players especially, and you're missing these guys, you definitely want them. But the thing is, because they're fairly old, except with the exception of Tech Hit, um, most people are gonna have at least one copy of each of them, if not have a lot of them rainbowed like I do. So, uh, that being said, yeah, it's not gonna be great value. So, I do hope that I'm wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, like, I this is one of those prediction videos where I'm like, I'm pretty confident in my prediction, but I really, really hope that I'm wrong. I really hope that they throw us a curveball and just like, just make a random banner of units that people are actually really excited for, like maybe the return of Namek Goku. I know it's kind of early, but I'd be okay with it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. That is my prediction for this banner. Let me go back and do a recap. So of course, Super Saiyan Blue, Kaioken Goku as a main featured, and then Tech Hit, STR Jiren, Int UI Goku, SSB Vegeta, MVP 17, and Int 
golden freezing. Now there is one small thing I want to add to the end of this video. So if we take a look at the tech hit banner from last year, tech hit actually brought with him two brand new non Dokkan Fest units, the STR Frost, as well as the uh, what else? Oh, the Int Boda Mageta, right? So these two were brand new units, not Dokkan Fest exclusive, but new units that came with Tech Hit on his initial banner, right? So there is probably a good chance that the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku banner will also bring with it a new uh, non Dokkan Fest unit that we haven't seen yet. They haven't really talked about it, they haven't leaked it yet, but there's a good chance, right? Since Tech Hit brought two with him and there are. I mean, it's kind of been the trend for the past couple of Dokkan Fest where there's at least one new non Dokkan Fest unit with each banner, right? So if that's the case, then I think one of the units I talked about will probably be replaced. Maybe Int Golden Frieza, maybe MVP 17 since he was just recently featured. Um, I mean, I guess any of these guys could be replaced. I hope it's not Jiren because I do need a lot of dupes of him and he hasn't been featured in a little while. Um, tech Hit should definitely not be replaced, so I think it's probably going to be UI Goku, uh, SSBE, or MVP17, or Int Angel Golden Frieza that gets replaced for a new non Dokkan Fest unit if that does happen. And as far as the character goes, I don't really know, there's a lot of possibilities. Um, for me personally, if I had my choice, I would really want a um, like a Joined Forces. Uh, Krillin and Android 18. Maybe they can be like a sub lead for the Joint Forces category or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe like T plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100% or something like that. Maybe that's too OP because the category is kind of stupid OP, but um, that would be my pick. That would be my pick. That's not really a prediction. That's more just a wish list for me. A non Dokkan Fest. Android 18 and Krillin for the non Dokkan Fest unit for this banner. Not this banner, but the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku banner would uh, make all my dreams come true. So I hope that happens, but like I said, a lot of possibilities. It could be really anything from the Tournament of Power arc. It could be like, I don't know, a new Rebrand or something like that, which I, you know what? I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't even put that out there because if it ends up happening, everybody's gonna blame me, but um, it's possible, guys. So. Hold your breath, we'll see what happens, but that is my prediction. Uh, it's either those seven Tournament of Power units we already had, or, you know, not including the Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku, but the other six are older units, or it's gonna be six of those and uh, a new non Dokkan Fest unit, whatever it is from the Tournament of Power arc. So we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I don't know if my prediction is, you know, close or um, completely wrong. It's possible that they give us a random banner that would actually make me a lot happier, but. I feel like this makes sense. I feel like the characters I picked makes a lot of sense for the theme of the banner. So uh, we'll see what happens. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you agree with me or maybe you completely disagree and you have a different idea about what the banner is gonna be. Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read your suggestions. And that's gonna do it, guys, for today's video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out